So in the previous video, we were setting up our coding for our Sprite Smash. We left off by dividing the clock interval by 1.05. And again, what that's doing is every time we click on this Sprite now, we are shortening the time interval by 5%. So that means our Sprite is going to move 5% uh, quicker every time we score a point. So the next thing that we need to do is program our reset button. So we have that button one over here, and when that button is clicked, well, what do I want to do? I want to set my global points here back to zero. I need to also display that I've set reset it. So I'm going to set my total points text to getting my global points. Now, because I've changed the clock interval here, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to detach this. I need to reset that time interval. And again, the way this deals is, is in milliseconds. So 1,000 back to 1,000 milliseconds or one second. So what we've in essence done now, and we'll show this on the em emulator, is we've created a game that speeds up on every click, and then the reset button resets and displays that variable. So if we come here, each click that I make on it, I score that point. You're going to notice as I go now, we're moving much quicker. We're uh, at 15% quicker. Now we're at 20% quicker, but if I hit, hit that reset button, we're back to that slower rate. Now, this is the basics, basics that you're going to use for your gameplay now that we have the engine that drives this and how we're keeping track. What we're going to show in the next videos is how to add some other features to this to make this game more playable or usable. Uh, but this is the basic for your game design that we're going to look at and you're going to build off of.